You can't have healthy joints without having strong bones. That's why it's important to consume enough calcium, which is found in milk, cheese, yogurt and leafy greens, to prevent joint pain. If you're overweight, that means more impact on your joints. In fact, research has proven that a 10 to 15 pound weight loss in obese young people can translate to a much lower risk of osteoarthritis later in life. The cartilage in joints is made up primarily of water. When you're dehydrated, your joints are more susceptible to injury, and less cushy. Vitamin D enhances calcium absorption. It's found in foods like salmon, criminy mushrooms, as well as in fortified milk and cereal, but can be difficult to get enough of through food alone. The good news is that it's also created when our skin is exposed to sunshine and, in winter, a vitamin D supplement can help get the job done. Ask experts if high-impact sports hurt your joints, and you'll get a wide variety of responses. Until science answers that question definitively, it's probably smart to mix up your exercise routine. Alternate high-impact sports like tennis with low or no impact activities like swimming or yoga. Start any new exercise routine slowly and, if you feel pain, back off. Your workout should challenge you, not hurt you. Building muscle strength in your legs. And your abdomen goes a long way in protecting your knees and back. You can do that with free weights, yoga, pilates and resistance exercises like squats, lunges, push-ups and planks. Lift the right way. When lifting a heavy object, make sure to use your legs, not your back. So, take care your health, please subscribe for more health tips, thank you.